as a permanent element of the landscape in Palestine, olive trees also found their way to into almost every aspect of our lives. Not only the uh, physical and commercial aspect that has to do with the with the livelihood, but also in terms of religions and cultures. All existing religions in Palestine have viewed olive trees to be sacred trees. The very first religion that we have of the Abrahamic religions that we have in Palestine is Jewish faith, and olive trees are sacred in Jewish faith. Same way in Christianity, the same way in Islamic faith as well. So anybody who upholds any of those three Abrahamic faiths, like understand that olive trees have sacred value. Also in our kind of modern culture, like olive trees have been part of a lot of cultural and folk songs and as well as poetry and so on. I just want to bring your attention to one very little thing that we say or we refer to, like many Palestinians that speak about the ethnic cleansing of Palestine or refer to the removal of the Palestinian society from their places of origin, they would say like we were uprooted from our homeland. And that's one thing that is done to olive trees. So when you uproot an olive tree that is connected to the homeland, in the exact same way like you remove a Palestinian family from its land in the form of uprooting. So olive trees are very, very present in our religions and in our cultures, and they have such a great value to Palestinians and to anybody that identifies with olive trees in, in general. Also, it's important to refer to the, let's say, materialistic value of olive trees. 